اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایا کنا عبدو و ایا کنا استعین اہدن السراط المستقیم سراط اللذین انعمت علیہم غیر المقدوب علیہم ولدالین آمین ربی شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل اللقطتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربی زدنی علما اجمعین یہ بات نکل لیے گا نام ہے آمین اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد کما صلیت علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید اللہم بارک علی محمد و علی آل محمد کما بارکتا علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ ویلکم ٹو الکیو ملٹن کلاس نمبر سیونٹی ٹو انشاءاللہ وی کنٹینیو آر جرنی in learning the language of Quran and just before the class we were having a conversation about why are we doing this effort we're doing this effort <coughs> because in our salah or when we recite Quran we should not only be using our tongue that is not why we are here. When we are <coughs> performing our salah, when we are reciting the Quran or making du'as, we should not be only using our tongue. We should be using the heart and the mind too. Then we will have full presence. Then we will enjoy the the full context and the taste of the dua and the salah because just standing in salah and just reciting some words not knowing them would not bring or not using the aql and and the emotions in the heart or our intellect is not going to give us the full concentration in the salah <coughs> most recently uh, Inam Bhai uh, shared this dua uh, with me and uh, when I went through this dua and it's so impactful. So rather than memorizing this dua, memorize we will do it, memorizing is very easy once we understand it. We don't have to just you know keep repeating ourselves without thinking and you know without understanding and yeah we can do that but then <coughs> this is a dua that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he entered a masjid and he heard a person reciting this dua and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam just giving you a little bit of a background why this dua is very important and then by listening to this dua, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said and swear by the one in whose hand Prophet Muhammad's soul is, like so much severity, like he did that. And he said, these are the best names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we're asking something from Allah, it is recommended right uh, we can make this dua in our sujood 
we can make this dua before the taslim or we can make this dua when we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because these are the best names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to the narration. Very simple. I mean we can memorize it but let's try and use our knowledge of what we are learning and try to comprehend and analyze this dua to better understand it and when we are in sujood let's pay attention to what we are saying that's important right that's pay attention what we are saying <clears throat> so it starts with allahumma What is this Allahumma? Allahumma comes in the du'as most of the time, right? Allahumma salli ala or Allahumma. Most of the du'as start with Allahumma. What is this Allahumma? It is Munada. What is Munada? That's okay, that's fine. We can manage, Alhamdulillah. What is Munada? Yes. We know about Harfu Nida. Harfu Nida is Ya, Ya Allah, right? So Harfu Nida is particle of calling. And you call somebody who is in front of us, right? Who, who we can approach. Or, or we know that that person will listen to us in, in our vicinity, in our range. And we can just call that person, oh boy, oh man, or whoever we want to call that person. So it's a vocative particle. Ya is the voc vocative particle, harfu nida. And afu, after harfu nida comes munada. Munada is the one who is being called. Okay, the one who is being called. So, Allahumma is an alternate for Ya Allah. Allahumma is an alternate for Ya Allah. So, duas starting with Allahumma, the first thing is when we say Allahumma, immediately our mind should analyze or should think for a split second that this is a munada and we are addressing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a second person asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making that dua to him as a second person on a one on one basis that's the first impact you should think about it right even if it takes even to even to and and this this dua is basically uh, in second person after allahumma comes inni how many words do i see in inni I see two words here, right? So the impact, what are, what is the impact we are getting from inni? Harfu taqid. Harfu taqid, right? Inna, what comes after inna? Ismu inna. Ismu inna mansub. Allahumma. Now we are addressing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Second person. Inni. Indeed. I. For surely I. And we know that inna cannot be translated in its exact terms in, in, in another language because it has so much impact here. So for a split second when we are making this dua, we should keep in mind that we are emphasizing. Indeed, I, we're making a covenant in a sense. Indeed, I. Ya mutakallim is your ismu inna mansub. We know that. Indeed, I. As aluka is your khabar inna. So this as aluka.
goes back to inni because this is khabar inna jumla failia coming as a khabar inna marfu right as aluka saala he asked yes alu he asked five in your pocket tas alu tas alu as alu nas alu so this is an individualized dua unlike rabbana atina which is a, which is not an individualized dua right this is individualized dua so these are the things that we miss when we we don't pay attention to what we are asking allah subhanahu wa taala so as alu i ask i request right what is ka mafulun bih right as aluka we know the mirun muttasilun when the mir muttasil joins with fil mudare then it will it is mafulun bih right and what is uh what is so special about fil mudare present. present and future so see that the more deeper we think about it the more colors will come out so you we are actually asking and we can make this to any time of the day so we are actually asking that thing not only presently but in future too whatever we are asking right so this as aluka is the khabar inna marfu is connected individualized dua allah humma inni as aluka i ask and after this dua whatever we ask allah subhanahu wa taala will grant us in a hurry inshallah bi annaka b is for emphasis harf jar coming here that you anna what is anna min akhawatu inna so whatever we have learned so far we are applying that knowledge and, and trying to peel the layers of analysis one by one to to try and understand it anna is for also emphasis it's same as inna and what do we know about inna comes in the beginning of the sentence and anna comes in the middle of the sentence we know that i'm just just repeating ourselves but for that you allahumma is a second person is this second person is this second person individualized dua so this is a private meeting that is going on right now like private request right ka is ismu anna mansub that you so we are we are giving emphasis in me indeed i ask you that you you are allah moving forward anta what is anta second person and once we say ka ka and anta we have to define who is the second person allah inni anna ka ka and anta and then allah b is emphasis too so not that we are in sujood and then we are but then at least when we are saying we should be like really allahumma inni as aluka bi anna ka anta allah you should feel those words nina bhai we have to thank for 
I think also from so many things he he gave us the idea of you know a life there. But then he taught us how to how to recite how to how we don't even don't know exactly we don't know how to ask. This is the proper way of asking. Like, who would tell us these precise words in 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 such a proper manner? And and understanding these words is is a joy of uh, uh, joy of life. And then especially, I mean, I don't know about anybody. I really enjoy this fajr making this dua in the sajood. It took 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 me some time. Like I took a lot of time understanding. Thing, but this is this was a real joy. But that it doesn't end here. La, see, we are still like continue to uh, express our express the greatness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, right? In the second person, right? Then comes la. What kind of la is this? La nafiyatul jins. La nafiyatul jins. These are small little things that we miss. What is the significance of uh, la nafiyatul jins? Absolute negation in all its derivatives and all its forms. La raiba fi, la ikraha fi deen, la ilaha. This is the first law that we learn as a two year old or whatever when we start um, uh, talking. Yeah, right? This law. This law is a very powerful law. And then after this law will come ism, <coughs> uh, and that ism will be common noun, and then it will be in a mansub form. It will be in a mansub form. So it will change the form of an ism from marfu form into a mansub form because it has an impact on, on that ism. La, what is ilaha? No, absolutely no, absolute negation. There is no Lord. Or God, Ilaha. And after Ilaha comes Illa. Illa is called Harfu Istasna. Right? We, we will learn it in Book 3, Harfu Istasna. And Harfu Istasna is, it basically creates an environment where we are plucking something from a Population and then with exception, it's an exceptional. Harfu is just nice particle of exception. One person, we, we specifically, everyone except this one, it has its own meaning. La ilaha illa. Ant. La ilaha illa ant. Because this is the end of the of this ayah. Uh, yeah, so ant. Oh, you can say anta as well if you want. Second person again. Second person, second person, second person, and then second person. And second person. Individualized. La ilaha illa ant. There is no deity. No God. Except you. Al Ahad. The only one. Now see it, it, the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues. Al Ahad. And Al Ahad when in class number seventy when we analyze Suratul Ikhlas, we said Al Ahad is the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah used in in the Quran only in Surah al -Ikhlas. It is so powerful. You are the only one. Unique. 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 Yes. Unique. And As-Samad sufficient. The sufficient one. Alhamdulillah. Right? So, when Prophet wasallam mentioned about this dua that these are the most powerful names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and now that we are analyzing them the first layer they, um, or, or maybe a little bit more but 
it creates an impact in somebody's heart and mind when we, we understand what we are saying. The unique, a samat, and not only the unique one, but the sufficient one. A samat. Absolute. Absolute. Jazakallah. The absolute. Allahumma inni as. Now, who are we asking? You see, I mean, um, when the kings or the queens, they come in and then they, uh, somebody will just stand up and then he'll start praising them, praising them and uh, giving them your highness or whatever and then they just, and then they announce their arrival. But these are the names that are specific for Allah. Nobody else in the entire universe is entitled for these names. And we're addressing him in the second person individualized dua allazi the one so we continue the praise of allah see this entire dua is about the names of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the attributes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and emphasizing on tawhid and emphasizing on tawhid jazakallah emphasizing on tawhid and after this dua, we can re recite whatever we or, or we can ask whatever we want. Rabbana Atena or whatever dua we have in our mind, we can do it. But if we concentrate and we know what we are doing and we make this dua, Allah wa inshallah will grant us to us. Allazi is your ismu masula. The one who who lam yalet is this a fact we learned that in in class number 70 lam harfu jazmin wa nasbin wa wa qalbin lam yalet and this wa lam yulat fact And another fact, and we already did that. Walam yalit, walam yulat. This is uh, this is uh, 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 no, uh, yeah. This is silatul masul. Uh, this is active voice and this is passive voice. Majhul. This is active voice and this is majhul yulat. So both. Uh, voices are covered in that. Walam yakullahu kufu one. We know we already did that and ahad and ahad in the end. And we already have analyzed in class number seventeen, so we don't need to uh, go through this. This is the khabar um, khabar kana. Kana yakunu. Where is the file in this yalid? Mustatir taqdirahu huwa. He, right? So yakun, kana yakunu. And yakunu is, is, in, a, is in a madzum form after lam. And then it has khabar uh, kana. And khabar kana is mansub. Kufuvan. Right? So, inshallah. Uh, number you have shared uh, you already shared with the analysis and yeah we can share it in the it's easy so we don't have to just like next time inshallah when we recite this dua we don't just use our tongue we'll use our heart and mind too I think sharing is, this dua is also sadka jariya Jazakallah you know, class shares and then people who listen to people it. who listen to it it's a sadka jariya Creation closer to him. Exactly. Closer to yeah. Especially when we understand it. Like there are people recite du'as all the time. Uh, but then especially when we understand. Uh, then and slowly, slowly with practice. Uh, yeah, first few days it will take some time. But then with practice we will 
know the meanings and we will and the next time when we will recite this dua we will understand what we are saying what are the impacts of the word when la comes for a split second my mind would say okay this is an absolute negation here i'm what i'm going to do is an absolute negation here so in my daily life sometimes or i'll i'll say if in my or our daily lives if we going to do something which is not pleasing to allah then probably my mind will say oh i just said la ilaha illa so the ilaha the anta doesn't like it so what is what is the purpose of me just saying that i i understand the meaning and the, what am i saying so it goes deeper and deeper and deeper right so we'll uh, start our class uh today um lesson number 26 sorry 23 and 24 we'll try to finish lesson number 23 and 24 uh, dr saab is teaching us about numbers since they are in the book so i will explain it very quickly what the numbers are uh, and how the numbers are uh, ha- has has a relationship with al madud the things which are counted but for our purpose it's it's not a very like the reason we are learning this language is because we want to understand so it's not so important but since it's in the book we'll quickly go through the numbers we're not going to go into the details so let's take a look at um uh, page number 161 um uh, lesson number 24 lesson number 24 so we are only going to do uh, the, we are only going to do until uh, from 1 to 100 that's it very quickly okay we're not going to take much time out it, out of it uh, le- uh, um, page number 161 162 and 163 in your free time if you are interested you can go and then uh, read through them but so in arabic language we have very s- high level it's uh, remember we have al adad the numbers and al madud madud is the thing which is counted and there is a relationship see that there are so many uh, g- grammatical rules involved us trying to understand those grammatical rule is not going to give give us an added benefit when we are reciting the quran that's what i'm saying so try to say okay if madud is muannas or uh, feminine then the al adad will be uh, will have some time will take uh, the masculine form you know if it if the al madud the thing which is counted is a masculine then sometimes the al adad uh, the the number will take the feminine form in 11 and 12 they are not manud and in some cases it's a uh, m- relationship between al adad al madud is mudaf mudaf alay sometimes a relationship between al adad and madud is of tamiz you know i mean th- there are many things so it's hard to remember so we're just going to quickly group the numbers until 100 and then we move on to uh, lesson number 23 we'll finish it which is talking about uh, sound pluler nouns uh, jama muzakkar salim We'll do that. Mudarasuna, mudarasina, mudarasina. So one and two. Start from one. Uh, number one and two. Whenever there is one and two, eleven, twelve, twenty-one, twenty-two. See, I'm I'm going very high level. Okay, this is all you have to remember. Thirty-one, thirty-two, forty-one, forty-two. 51 52 61 62 71 72 and so on and so forth the relationship between the number the al adad and the al madud which is the thing which is counted is of a not manud okay they match in gender they match in gender remember that at least remember that that's why i call it madud so for example if i say one student talibun wahidun and if i say one female student 
Talibatun Wahidatun. So numbers are either uh, have a masculine form and have a feminine form. So in 1, 2, 11, 12, 21, 22, 31, 32, the thing counted if it is feminine then we will use the feminine form of the number. If the thing counted is masculine we will use the masculine form of the number. Okay, So that is number one rule if you remember that one. Okay, So Talibun Wahidun, Talibatun Wahidatun. Okay. Talibani Asnani, two students, Talibatani Asnatani, two female students. So, everything is on page number 161, 162 and 163, just go through it. Then from 3 to 10, the madur comes first. Well, only in 1 and 2 uh, and then uh, after that 11, 12, uh, the, the aladad will come first, only on 1 and 2 the madud will come first. But then 11, 12, 20, 21, the, uh, the adat will come first. And these are the observation you will, schedule by you will observe when, when you are going through these pages. I am just giving a high level. From 3 to 10, number 3 to 10, the relationship between al adat and al madud is mudaf mudafala. Okay. So, for example, when I say 3 student, female student, salasa, so But the gender will be opposite. See, that's that's confusing, right? So that's confusing. So now, if I am saying masculine tulabun, uh, masculine uh, students, I would use salasatun. But when I say talibatin, which is the female students, then I say salasun. So there are so many rules there. Uh, We'll just quickly go through that. If I say four students, arbaatu arbaun is four, and the fem feminine form is arbaatun. Khamsun five. The fe the mas feminine form of khamsun is khamsatun. Sittun sittatun. Sabun sabatun. Samani eight. Samaniyatun. Tisun, which is uh, nine. Tisatun, and then ashrun ashratun. Ten. So. 3 to 10, if the thing counted al madud is masculine, we will use the feminine form. And then, if the thing counted is feminine, then the al adad will be in a masculine form. It's it's very it's very it, it becomes very confusing. So that's what I'm saying. Don't worry too much about it. Uh, go through 161, 162, 163 if you are interested. For our purpose, this thing is not so important, but it is in the book, so we will just quickly do that. Yes, yes. So, Ahadun will become no, uh, from 3, to 10, right? 3 to 10, right. Salasatun will become Salasatu Tullabin. So, can we make sense out of the translation that 3 of the uh, no, no. Uh, well, well, the relationship is mudaf mudafale, but that's not how we. That's not how we translate it. It's it's it's, it's, it's not possessing. Yeah, it's not possessing anything. Mm -hmm. But the construction of the al madad al madud is similar to mudaf mudafale. Let's say that. Yeah. Right. Let's say that. Then eleven, twelve. Again, um, from eleven. At all the way to uh, 100, uh, sorry 11, uh, um, uh, it's uh, the al madud is, is your tamiz, it becomes tamiz, right. So, ahada ashara taliban 11 students, ehda asharata talibatan. So, now 11, 12, 21, 22 I said the numbers al adad al madud will, will uh, match in gender. But then when it comes to again 13, 14, 15, 16, again the opposite. The, the uh, masculine, al madu, the things which is counted is if it is masculine, then the number will become feminine. So only 11 and 12 are different? Yes, 11, 12, 21, 22, 31, 32, 41, 42. So, 
um, but then um, from 11 to 19 again the gender will be opposite to the madhut then come ishruna salasuna which is 20 30 um, uh, the the tenths they are called ukudun uh, we'll just quickly go through that Well, the, the gender will match. Let's talk about the gender will match, uh, uh, or it would be the construction would be similar to Nath Manut, gender will match, and then um, the opposite gender, Al Madut, will be, yeah, will be opposite, I opposite, ho jayega, yeah, exactly. Um, and then we have Okudun as well. So that's all we need to know uh, from, from this lesson, okay. Uh, we cover most of the numbers. Uh, and then um, the madud will become tamiz, right? In in 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 20, 21, all the way it goes all the way until uh, 99. Right. The, the al madud will become tamiz, right? Thing which is counted, it will become tamiz. And uh, what about the rest one is Battamis? No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not Battamis. G. Number 15, uh, 15 is Khamsata Ashara. Yeah, but in the spoken word, you say Khamsata Ha, spoken, they, this is, and that is not proper Arabic language. No, I can tell you, because Khamsata, there's a ta at the end. But uh, but he's talking about uh, 15, Ashara, I think they, they miss Ashara. Yeah, this is 15, Hamas Tasha. Oh, Hamas Tasha, oh, okay. Because now when you really say Hamsa, we don't speak the Tamar Dukha, Hamsa. Oh, yeah, okay. Hamas Tasha. Hamas Tasha, okay. 15 real. Right. Okay, maybe that's what she's saying. Um, this, this, is, this is about number, and we finish, uh, Alhamdulillah, we finish lesson number 24. 24, yeah, that's all. That's all we need to know. Okay. Moving on to lesson number 23. It's a very easy lesson. We know about sound masculine rulers. Jama Muzakkar Salim. Mudarrisun, a teacher. Mudarrisuna, teachers. Is this in a marfu form, Mudarrisuna? It is in a marfu form. What is the sign of it being marfu? Al wow. Wow is the sign of it being marfu, right? This is not. Don't confuse it with the, with the with the verbs where the, the mudare form the noon is the sign of, marfu, right? So sometimes students, make that mistake. Huh? Yes, in the next course, inshallah. <laughs> in the fifth, uh, fourth session. Uh, f uh, f yeah, no, f fifth. Fifth session, inshallah. Mudarrisina is in a mansub form. Mudarrisuna, mudarrisina. What is the sign of it being mansub? Yeah. Yeah. Mudarrisina in a majroor form. What is the sign of it being majroor? I'm not going to go into that detail. That's all we need to know. I mean, there is a grammatical term for explaining Mudarrisina. Um, is Mansub, Liannahu, Jama Muzakkar Salim. But we, we're not going to into that much, uh, like trying to explain it in, 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 in grammatical terms. That's all we need to know. Wow, Ya and Ya is remember that and depending on it, the position of the, the the noun we will understand whether it's coming in a mansub form or it's in a majroor form because for example if this is coming after or coming as a mafulun bihi then it is or if this is coming as an isam majroor then it is in a majroor form that's all we need to know we are not here to make life difficult for the students Okay, <laughs> you want to make it simple. Lesson number 23, let's go over that lesson. 
Jafar said, Ain al Mudarrisuna. Where are you writing, Sadasa? You are writing, okay. Ain al Mudarrisuna, where are the teachers? Okay, where are the teachers? La dakhalu. What kind of lies are? La nafiya. La nafi. Harfu nafi, right? Harfu nafi. Harfu nafi. La dakhalu al fusula. La dakhalu. Dakhala. Dakhala. Dakhalu. They did not enter. They did not enter. La dakhalu. They did not enter. Entered what? Al fusula. Fasalun. Class. Classroom. Fusulun. Classrooms bring al there, al fusulu, and then make it mansub because it is a mafulun bihi al fasula. See, this is how our mind work. Al fasula la dahalul fasula. They did not enter the classes. Walahum fi gurfatil mudarrisina. Walahum and they are not fi in. After fi comes is a majrur gurfati. In room, room of teachers, mudaf mudafale. So mudafale is majrur. So mudarrisuna will become mudarrisina in a majrur form. So now I know that gurfatil mudarrisina is a construction called mudaf mudafale, and mudafale is majrur. So now my mind knows it is in a majrur form. That's all we are learning. It's very simple. Adnan said, "Azunnu, I think annahum that they fish tamain, fi ash tamain. They are in a meeting. I think they are in a meeting. Azunnu, annahum fish tamain. Araita al mudarrisin al jududa. A comes harfu istafam, particle of interrogation or questioning. Araita, did you see? Did you see? Did you see whom?" Al Mudarrisina in a mansub form. The teachers mafulun bihi Mudarrisina al Jududa. Not new teachers, right? Not. So you see, al Jududa is mansub as well. So it is maf. It's your not. Jafar said, Aja a Mudarrisuna Jududun. Did the new teachers came? Ja came. Ja means. He came, and where is the uh, file for Jaa Mudarrisuna? And files are marfu. And what is the sign of Mudarrisuna? Uh, of of being mar? Wow, is the sign. Of, you don't have to wait until uh, <laughs> exactly. Alhamdulillah, we covered it. We covered it. Ajaa Mudarrisuna jududun. Did the new teachers came? Adnan said, "Naam, yes." Harful, harful, jawab. Jaa, they came. Hamsatu, mudarrisina. Hamsatu. What did I say? The construction between three and nine. The construction between three and nine is in a form of mudaf mudafale, as if it is mudaf mudafale. So mudarrisina is coming in a majrur form. Yeah, this it's simple. It's alhamdulillah we were getting it right. Jaa hamsatu mudarrisina jududin, which is the nath. Five new teachers came. Raaitu, I saw, I saw, I saw what? Ahada, one. Wahuwa mudaf hum, one of them. Ahada is your mafulun. Be ahada is playing two roles here. Raitu, I saw, I saw what? Ahada, one. Wahuwa mudaf, whom is your mudafale? One of them. Fil maktabati in the library. Kabla kalilin. A little while ago. Ismahu, his name is Al Hussein ibn Al Hassani. His name Al Al Hussein, Al Hussein ibn Al Hassani. Yadkhulu ahadu al mudarrisin al jodada. Uh, one of the new teacher entered. Al Mudarris said, "Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu." Atullabu, the student said, "Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu." Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban ya astaz. Moving on. Al Mudarris said, 
اشکرکم آئی تھینک یو آل سو ہیز ایڈریسنگ آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس ان سیکنڈ پرسن شکارا اشکرو اشکرکم آئی تھینک یو آل یا اخوان آئی تھنک آئی نیڈ گلاس از انعام بھائی اس الو کا اینڈ اشکرو ویری گڈ اس الو اشکرو آئی تھینک یو آل یا اخوان او برادرس کم نو 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 دس از دا مدار اس الو سالا یس الو تس الو تس الو اس الو نس الو شکارا یشکرو تشکرو تشکرو اشکرو نشکرو کم طالبن فی فصل کم حاضا کم کم کمز آفٹر کم ہاؤ مینی اینڈ ریمبر وین آئی سے ہاؤ مینی دیر از امبیگری ان مائی مائنڈ سو ٹو ریموو دین امبیگری وٹ وٹ شوڈ آئی برنگ ان تم یز طالبن ہاؤ مینی اسٹوڈنٹس فی فصل کم ان دس ان یور کلاس حاضا ان دس ان یور کلاس آف دس عمر سیٹ فی ہی ارباؤنا طالبن What kind of jumla is this? Jumla ismiya. Fihi jarun wa jurun shibu jumla khabar muqaddam. Khabar is coming first. Arbauna. Arbauna 40. Is it in the pattern of mudarrisuna? Yes. So this is something I want to share with the class. Ishruna 20. Salasuna 30. Arbauna 40. Khamsuna 30. ففٹی ستونا سکسٹی سبعونا سیونٹی سمانونا ایٹی تسعونا نائنٹی دے آر آن اے پیٹرن آف جمعہ مذکر سالم اینڈ دین دے ڈکلائن ان اے سیملر وے جس ممبر دیٹ ایس آل آئی وانٹ ٹو ایمفرسائز ان دس ان دس لیسن دے واز ویٹنگ فار فار دس ٹو کم اوکے سو وین دے ڈکلائن دے ڈکلائن ان اے سیملر وے No, I mean, uh, Arbauna will become Arbaina, Arbaina. Salasuna will become Salasina, Salasina. When they decline, the numbers can decline too because if the numbers, if they come as a, can come as a file, uh, the numbers can come as Mafulun Bihi, the numbers are basically nouns. So they have all those properties. They can come in different f uh, forms, right? Depending and then so. So I'm saying these Arba, Auna, Salasuna, Tisuna, they are all on a pattern of Jama Muzakkar Salim. So the teacher said, and I'll, I'll tell you what it is. So Umar said, in it, Arbauna, 40, and then Arbauna, what is the thing which is counted? Talibun, and the relationship is Tamiz, so Taliban. There are 40 students in it. Al Mudarris said, Walakinnani. وَلَكِنَّنِي بَتْ آئِ عَرَا آئِ سَوْ رَآ يَرَا تَرَا تَرَا عَرَا اَن نَرَا آئِ سَوْ آئِ سَوْ آئِ سَوْ آئِ سَوْ وَٹ شجیل بھائی آئِ سَوْ وَٹ خَمْسَتَن نا خَمْسَتَن why is it منصوب because it is coming as a مَفُلُن بِي you see that's that's all that's all الحمدللہ خمسطن و سلاسینا which is mean 35 خمسطن سلاسونا is your 35 but then the number is coming as مفولن بھی here so سلاسونا will become سلاسینا in a منصوب form right کامران بھائی سلاسینا سلاسینا is a منصوب form because I said those اخودن are on a pattern of جمع مذکر سالم it's good to these do these kind of exercises because it sharpens our mind that's all you know it, it helps us analyzing our, our uh, like our mind is uh, training itself to start analyzing the words taliban again is coming as a but i see the teacher said i see only 35 students faqat only only um, 35 students fa'inal akharuna where are the others umar said hum ghaibun al yawma غائبونا absent they are 
absent al yawma today al mudarris said ayya kitabin taqra'una qara'a yaqra'u taqra'u taqra'ani taqra'una ayya which and remember uh, ayyu ayyu uh, after ayyu will come mudafale there are certain particles we have uh, we know there are certain particles in arabic language after them after uh, those particles will come mudafale zu is one of them zul jalali wal ikram we say why jalali why we say because it is mudafale ayya is one of them which which kitabin which is mudafale which book taqrauna you are all reading adnan said naqra'u we are reading hazal kitab this book qara'a yaqra'u taqra'u taqra'u aqra'u naqra'u we are reading this book ismuhu its name is qisasun nabiyini stories of prophets al mudarris said liman huwa who is the author now when the when it comes to the book and then we said liman huwa that means who is the author in the context of book liman huwa who is the author adnan said huwa it is li fazilati shaykhi ibil hasan al nadwi li fazilati it is written by honorable sheikh abi al hasan al nadwi right this is the name of the sheikh al mudarris said kam after kam comes tamiz safhatan how many pages qara'tum fihi qara qara'tum you have read you have all read in it right it's easy jafar said qara'na we read 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 what shajil bhai salasan why because it is mafulun bi exactly salasan wa khamsina 35 we read that khamsina is in a mansub form khamsina and then the al madud which is the thing which is counted is tamiz right safhatan 35 pages adnan said now adnan is getting a super smart huh? he <laughs> he showing his mathematical skills he said al kitabu in the book fihi tis'una safhatan in it there are 90 pages tis'una 90 pages qarana we read minha from it salasan wa khamsina safatan 35 pages he repeat what jafar said fa baqiya so remains fa baqiya baqiya means remains or left left sab'un wa salasuna safhatan S- 70 uh, so, sorry uh, 30 35 35 sab'un wa salasuna ha 30 37 sorry 37 safhatan pages 37 pages harun said ma ajmala how beautiful what kind of ma is this ma of wonder right ma of wonder felu taajjub so, uh, sub on isn't it 73 no no sub al 7 right wa salasuna 37 salasuna is 30 30 right 37 haruna har harun have harun said ma ajmala ma is felu taajjub ma ajmala how beautiful verb of wonder how beautiful 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 what haqibata bag haqibata ka your bag ya ustaz o teacher become become ashtaraituha become become ashtaraitaha for how much you bought it ishtara yashtari right ishtara ishtaraita you bought ha means ha go, goes back to haqibatun for how much you bought it this is personal al mudarris said well he is answering ishtaraituha i bought it bi samanina riyalan bi samanina riyalan how many 80 riyals in old books dr 
social disturbing they are i think the, because of inflation he increased it in the next book in, so now it's sabain mm. in my book it says sabain sabain <laughs> the prices have went up. Prices have went up. So yeah, the the impact of inflation, <laughs> impact of inflation. Yeah, it's like Hashim says. So he bought it for the so teacher said, I bought it. Ishtarai tuha. I bought it. Be samanina realan for eighty reals. Realan is your tamiz. Hashim said, Ana ishtarai tu misluha, uh, mislaha. Sorry, mislaha. I bought it. Mislaha, like it. Be sub ina realan for seventy reals. Umro said, "Ana ashtarai ashtarai tu I bought it. Hakibatan I bought it. Bag asgara minha smaller than this. Be sitaina realan for sixty real. So situna make it majrur sitaina." because it is coming after harf ja okay so that's all we need to know about numbers okay we are not going to into too much detail inshallah alhamdulillah covered it in 40 minutes <laughs> 35 40 minutes uh no need to go into the exercises in ambai because it's yeah it's repetition uh, we already finished uh, uh, alhamdulillah alhamdulillah I wasn't expecting it. We already finished uh, uh, lesson number twenty-four, so we'll start lesson number twenty-five. Uh, in the next class, we have I think thirty lessons total in book two. Right. So five more classes, maybe four, five, or six, and then we'll inshallah start book three. Alhamdulillah. A'uzu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وزعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطانا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وافو أننا وقفر لنا ورحمنا أنت مولانا فنصرنا अल कौमिल काफ़रीन अल्लाम वरहमल वबरकू